Today is Friday of Holy Week. Uh, we refer to it as Good Friday. You know, I've been blessed in my life where I'm not sick often, but there have been those times when I haven't felt well or been in pain, and I've remained in bed or maybe um, found myself perched on the couch. And, and it's during those times of, of pain and, and suffering that I've become very inward focused. I'm more likely to ask Becky, my wife, to, to bring me something to eat or, or something to drink or something to, to read. Um, and on those occasions, I'm not often thinking about the needs of others. Instead, of, instead I'm thinking uh, mostly on my needs. That is why it's remarkable when we think about this day uh, as we remember Jesus being crucified and, and how he reacted to that pain and suffering of the cross. And in one way we see his reaction to that suffering is the words that he spoke. And I'd like to read to you some of the, the things that he said on the cross during this time of unreal suffering beyond our imagination. How did he react? What did he say? We, we, we find some of his phrases on the cross in the, the Gospel of Luke, uh, chapter 23. Let me read to you some of them. First, on his way to the cross, there's some women who are following him. And this is what Jesus says. Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep for yourselves and for your children. Then later on, as he uh, notices those that are actually crucifying him, he says this in regards to, to those that are crucifying him. In verse 34, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Then later on, as we know, Jesus was crucified between two criminals. One uh, criminal mocked him. The other asked for grace. And, and how did Jesus react? What did he say? In verse 43, Jesus answered him, meaning the criminal that asked for grace. I tell you the truth. Today you will be with me in paradise. How remarkable it is to realize that in, in that time of unreal suffering and, and pain, Jesus was not inward focused focusing. He was not focusing on himself, but he was focusing on others. And we know also that he was focusing on you and on me. That is the love of our Savior. He came to the cross and he endured the cross for you and for me.